I'd like to talk about the Bling Ring, which was a group of teens and young adults who broke into celebrity homes in less than a year period between 2008 and 2009 in the Calabasas area. They did over 50 heists, hitting Paris Hilton's home multiple times. They made mo multiple movies about it, and there's just a lot going on. Quickly, let's give a little credit where credit's due. So Taylor sent me the idea to do a series on this, so thank you, Taylor. She sent me the video made by Boy Please, which was great, so I just wanna give him credit because it inspired me to do this series. So they were called the Bling Ring from an article written about them, but they were also called the Hollywood Hills Burglar Bunch, or just the Burglar Bunch. They actually had like lots of different names. They stole over $3 million worth of stuff, plus there was corruption in the court cases too. Let's start Start by talking about who the members are in the bling ring behind me is a picture from the movie but let's talk about the real people that the movie was based on it all starts with Rachel Lee who was the ringleader and just a side note she's wearing Rachel Bielsen's necklace which they stole from her house and if you don't know who the bling ring is it was a group of teens real this is real and they broke into celebrity houses they did over 50 heists in under a year in the Calabasas area and like I said this is the ringleader. Enter Nick Prugo. So Rachel was the leader and Nick did anything Rachel said. They actually both went to Calabasas High School previously but weren't friends there. Both got kicked out and both went to Indian Hills High School which is an alternative high school but when they were there they became friends because it was like oh yeah I recognize you from my old school. They bonded over their love of celebrities and fashion. I'm talking about the real people that the bling ring was based on. In interviews, Nick has referred to Rachel as his very first best friend and said that he did anything she asked because he valued their friendship. The first house they burgled together was actually not a celebrity house. It was someone in Nick's wealthy neighborhood. He knew they were going to be out of town and he said that Rachel suggested they break in. Nick said he was uncomfortable at first, but because he valued their friendship, he went along with it. Rachel at this point did have a history of doing some shoplifting at Sephora, but I don't think she had broken into homes yet at this point. So they break into the house and Nick said she was very calm and he was very nervous and jittery and they find $8,000 under the bed, which they go on a shopping spree on Rodeo Drive the following day. Next, they start regularly checking the expensive cars in the neighborhood to get cash and cards to go on more shopping sprees. So I think the question is, how did it go from two teens who broke into one person's house to them becoming this huge group that is breaking into celebrities' homes on a regular basis and all over the news? Well, it starts with Paris Hilton's house. Nick said Rachel was obsessed with celebrity fashion, and so then they're like, whose house can we break into? Who's dumb? And this is 2008 Paris Hilton, and they thought she was stupid. So they don't have the other members of the bling ring yet. It's just them for the first break-in of Paris Hilton's house. They use the internet to find out when she's going to be gone at events. They use Google Maps to look at her gated community and they find this hill that they can climb up to get in. So their plan is not to take a lot. They don't want Paris to notice. So they wanna be able to keep coming back, which is what happened. They hit Paris's house so many times. So they get to her house, they look under the mat and a key's right there. But they don't need it because their door's unlocked. Okay, I need to introduce some more people. We're on video five, I've introduced two people. Sheesh. Okay, up in the corner, this is Alexis. She is the most popular member of the group, meaning like most people know about her. Emma Watson played her in the movie because she was filming a show called Pretty Wild for E and it was like about party girls in the Calabasas area. Well, she actually gets arrested while they're filming. This might be the only time a show would be happy that the person is getting arrested because that's perfect for reality TV. Next, let's introduce Diana. She's right there. She was student body president of the high school turned burglar. She was very valuable to the bling ring because of her small stature. She actually was able to break into one of the homes by going through the doggy door. In the movie, they used her sister, but it was Diana. I think I gotta stop introducing them. Let's just get into the robberies. The real bling ring, this is the movie poster behind me, but the real people, they burgled so many celebrity homes. 
from Rachel Bielsen, and they hit her house a few times. Audrina Patridge, Orlando Bloom and Miranda Kerr, back when they were together. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green, back when they were together. Lindsay Lohan's house was considered the holy grail. Rachel Lee, who was the leader of the bling ring, she thought Lindsay was just the ultimate fashion icon and she wanted her clothes. And we can't forget Paris Hilton. They hit Paris Hilton's house multiple times, like over five times. And they started getting so comfortable that Rachel took Paris's spare key from under the mat and put it on her own key ring. Nick realized he had the same shoe size as Paris and put her shoes on and did a victory dance like in the middle of the burglary. The bling ring in their crime spree was estimated to have stolen around three million dollars cumulatively from all the houses. Now two million dollars of the three million dollars was in one hit at Paris Hilton's house from Roy. He did that single-handedly. Paris didn't even know she was being burgled because they were intentionally not taking like a ton and then they bring Roy. He has an eye and knows like what's expensive and so he just went for it and that's when Paris finally noticed, hey, I'm being burgled. And here's the kicker. Roy wasn't able to sell most of the stuff, so he took it and then kind of got stuck with it. And a lot of it actually ended up getting returned to Paris when everyone got arrested. The stuff they were stealing really started to accumulate. So they go down to Venice Beach Boardwalk and sell Rachel Bielsen's clothes and make a few thousand dollars in one day because it was designer labels. Looking into the details of what and why the bling ring stole from different celebrity homes. So they picked Brian Austin Green and Megan Fox's home to burgle because Rachel Lee liked Megan Fox's clothes. Now, Brian Austin Green said he didn't realize they had been burgled. Yes, he noticed he had a few missing items, but he thought he had just misplaced them. It wasn't until later when the Bling Ring members were getting arrested that they found his handguns. The police called him and let him know, and that's when he realized he had been burgled. Bling Ring hit Rachel Bielsen's house multiple times, and they got way too comfortable doing these burglaries all the time. Rachel Lee actually went into Rachel Bielsen's restroom and did a number two during the burglary. She also posted pictures to social media wearing stolen items. That's Rachel Bielsen's necklace. They also took Bielsen's mother's engagement ring. It's very violating to have your home broken into. Rachel said she wouldn't sleep in a room for over a month after that. Looking into the details of the bling ring's crime spree. The bling ring specifically picked Orlando Bloom and Miranda Kerr's home because at the time Miranda Kerr was a Victoria's Secret model and Rachel Lee wanted her lingerie, specifically her lingerie. They got in through cutting a hole in the security fence and then they covered their faces and walked backwards up to the house. Orlando said the break-in really affected his ability to trust those close to him because when it happened, he thought it was maybe a friend or someone who worked for him because his Rolex collection was stolen and he said it was carefully hidden so he thought it had to have been someone close to him. So the bling ring took the Rolex collection, some Louis Vuitton luggage, and a lot of high-end clothes. They thought they were done, but Rachel, the leader, was like, no, I need to go back for one more thing. She was moving to her father's house in Las Vegas and wanted some artwork for her bedroom, so she ran back in to get some of Orlando's artwork to put in her room. Looking into the details of the bling ring's crime spree when they burgled celebrity homes. So the bling ring would look like on social media or celebrity gossip websites to see when the celebrities would be out of their house. So the night they hit Audrina Patridge's house was the night of the Oscars. They enter her home by walking in through the unlocked front door and they ended up stealing over $43,000 worth of stuff. They took her jewelry, but they also took her passport, which I thought was strange, and they also took some custom fit jeans that were made just to fit Audrina's body. When she got home, she immediately knew she had been burgled, and she went to check her security footage, thinking it would be some like big burly guys or something, and so she said she was a little bit surprised when she saw it was a group of teenagers. She released that security footage to her personal website, hoping it would result in a lead, which it didn't, but it did help later on to connect things. Looking into the details of the Bling Ring's crime spree from when they broke into celebrity homes. These teens all lived in the Calabasas area. Well, Rachel, the ringleader right there in the middle, she moved to her father's house in Las Vegas, but she came back just for this one burglary, the Holy Grail. Lindsay Lohan, her fashion icon. Keep in mind, at this point, 
they are well known. Like people know there's a group of teens breaking into celebrity homes. Audrina Patridge has already released security footage from when they broke into her home. Nick Prugo said he had a bad feeling about this one. He's like, I just know it. We're going to get caught by security cameras. And you know what? He was right. They shouldn't have done this. And they did get caught on security cameras. They stole over $130,000 worth of items from Lindsay Lohan's house. It was also this break-in that produced tons of tips that people called into the police. When the bling ring broke into Lindsay Lohan's house, they were caught on security cameras. Lindsay sent that footage to TMZ, which was released to the public, and it produced a lot of tips for the police. But at this point, the police were already onto them because of Nick Prugo. He has a reputation for not being able to keep his mouth shut. And he was bragging about it to people at a party, and people overheard him and called the cops. So then they look at Lindsay Lohan's footage and they're able to realize that is Nick Prugo in that footage. So then they go on to social media, Facebook, and see that Nick is friends with Rachel Lee. And so then that gives them a suspect. But at this point, that's enough information for them to do an arrest on Nick Prugo. And they do. Initially, he denies everything. But the stress and anxiety start to get to him. He can't sleep. He can't eat. He's losing hair. And so he goes back and confesses. So at this point, Nick realizes the burden of the stress of carrying all this is too much. It's physically affecting him. And so he decides to go back to the police and confess to his crimes. Nick does not get a plea deal. He just goes in and starts talking. And when I say he starts talking, he tells them everything about the bling ring. They start connecting burglaries that they didn't know were connected. There were some they didn't know about. He told them everything. But in addition to that, he told them about future plans they had. Here are some of the houses they were planning on hitting. Miley Cyrus, Zac Efron, Hilary Duff, and Vanessa Hudgens. From all the information he gives them, they issue search warrants to go to the rest of the members' homes because he had given them all of the other people's names. The LAPD go out and they arrest everyone but Rachel because she's living with her dad in Las Vegas now. So they had to go to Nevada and get her. When the police go and arrest Rachel, she is eerily calm. They take her back for questioning and she starts asking hypothetical questions like, if I were to tell you this, what would happen? And they just found her whole behavior strange. She believed she had no evidence left and that she had gotten rid of it. Well, the police found some evidence. She had a picture of Paris Hilton that was in Paris Hilton's safe. So, you know, that's proof that she was in Paris Hilton's house. Police also found a jacket belonging to Lindsay Lohan. Once they show her these items, her whole demeanor changes. Initially, every single member of the bling ring denied, 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 but it didn't stay that way. I'm guessing because they realized how serious it was and the penalties they could be facing for their crimes. Let's talk sentencing for the bling ring members. I don't know if you want to say they got lucky or what, but the lead investigator, he sure messed it up. Meet Brett Goodkin, lead investigator. Well, I guess he had a taste for fame, you might want to say. Once the bling ring became notorious, Sofia Coppola decided to make a movie about the real people. She started making her film before they had all been sentenced, and so she asked the lead investigator, Brett, to come help on her film. He could be a consult and he could even have a role in the film. His involvement with the film was a conflict of interest. If they've not all been sentenced, he's the lead investigator. He can't go make money talking about their story, huh? As a direct result from his actions, they all received lighter sentences. He made $12,500 for the movie. Was it worth it? One of the homes the notorious bling ring broke into was the home of Lindsay Lohan. I'm gonna come back to that. So Alexis Nears up here was probably the most famous member of the bling ring because she was filming a reality show for E! And when she got, um, when the police came to her home, they were actually filming for that show and she got arrested while the reality show was filming her. Anyway, she gets sent to Century Regional Detention Facility. While she is there, guess who ends up being booked there? No other than Lindsay Lohan. Just two weeks after Lindsay Lohan had testified in court about her home being broken into, she ends up having to go to this detention facility because she broke her parole. 
Now, Alexis says her and Lindsay Lohan were not like in the same room, but they were close enough that she could hear Lindsay Lohan crying. Alexis was released from jail after serving 30 days. Sofia Coppola made the movie The Bling Ring from real events. So the movie is based on this article, The Suspect Wore Louboutins by Nancy Jo Sales in March of 2010. This article actually also got turned into a book. When Sophia made this movie, she interviewed and asked a ton of people to give her information about it, including all of the victims who the bling ring hit. Most of the people did not want to be involved. For example, Orlando Bloom said, you know, this just hits too close to home. I don't really want to be involved with this. Rachel Bielsen was completely against the movie. But Paris Hilton saw it differently. Paris trusted Sophia 100%. She had them film in her home for the scenes when her home was broken into, like from real life. She said not a single room was off limits. There's a scene where they show pillows with Paris's face on it, and that's real, she has those pillows. They were a gift from a friend. Okay, here are the sentences for the Bling Ring members. Let's start with Rachel Lee. Rachel was sentenced to four years in prison. After serving one year and four months, she was released in March of 2013. I'm gonna be reading so I don't get it wrong. Nick was sentenced to two years, but at that point he had already been in jail for one year, so they credited him with that, and then he was further credited with a year for good behavior and work time, but he he got into other troubles in the future. Mm. Alexis was sentenced to 180 days in jail with an additional three years probation in order to pay $600,000 to Orlando Bloom in restitution. She was released after serving 30 days. She got into future trouble too, but she turned her life around. Diana was actually an undocumented immigrant and they used that against her and threatened her family. She was sentenced to three years probation, 60 days community service.